conflict resolution and the judicial system in Africa. Education Monday, Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday, Education Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tribal Root Studio once again, and this is the second series of our education program, Education Monday. Today, I would like us to talk about conflict resolution. When we look at our communities in Africa, and when we see how much time we spend trying to solve conflict in the most harsh way, we realize that there's so much we are losing and there is a lot we could even do better. So today, I am going to speak about conflict resolution and the judicial system in Africa. I have been to a place where I saw a man who lost his chicken to thieves. And once these thieves were got by, by, by good members of the society, the owner of the chicken chose to go to court to get justice. When he reached in court, the process took four years. At the end of the four years, the man who owned the chicken lost the case because he could not produce substantial evidence as the owner. What is the moral of the story? There is so much that is going on. There are very many unresolved conflicts in our societies and there are wars that could have been prevented. But in most cases, we have lost sight of the best ways to resolve conflict. In the ancient days, conflicts like those would be solved by elders. Elders were allowed to sit in one place and make sure justice prevails. The judicial system as it happens to be currently has a lot of ups and downs. There are lots of things that do not favor justice delivery. There are a lot of things in the judicial system that are, are so un-African. So the lesson for today is majorly for our people to realize that it's high time that we go back to our, our old ways where we could resolve conflict, where conflict resolution was a part of our culture, it was part of our life, it was part of our everyday life. It was normal to be aggrieved and it was also normal to have the conflict resolved by members of the society, by elders, by women. There is so much we are losing by pursuing courts and the colonial judicial system which is designed on the colonial structure. There are very many innocent people that are dying and perishing in the prisons because the judicial system on the most part will not deliver justice. I won't say all the time but on the most part the judicial system fails to deliver justice because of corruption, incompetences, and all the other failures that exist inside there. We are still the same society who admit that we are still poor. We still have so much to desire and we still have so much to ask for. We cannot afford to be spending a lot of money we cannot afford to be speaking Africa while we are having so much money to invest in a corrupt and incompetent judicial system until we create something of our own that is so indigenous, that is so relevant with our own situation. In Rwanda, after the 1994 genocide, 
there are very many unresolved cases that could have taken centuries to resolve. But what the Rwandans did is they agreed and created a judicial system that they called the Gachacha. The Gachacha was composed of elders and responsible people of the society and was responsible to make sure it could bring justice to the aggrieved parties in the best ways. Lots and lots of cases were resolved in the shortest time possible, which is a big achievement that has never happened on the African judicial system. So what, what, is, what does that teach us? There are things we're supposed to venture in. We're supposed to believe ourselves in ourselves enough to make sure that there are real things we should fix as united people as communities, as clans, as tribes. It is so disheartening that the civil wars that have come from, that have originated from a, pl a place of tribal conflicts have had to attract international figures, international organizations and international interventions that have led to the culmination of wars. We don't want to get to the worst. So it is time that we change the mindset and we once again can tame our anger, can tame, we can also tame our, our uh, I think the best terminology would be our temper to make sure that things happen. Yes, you can, uh, you can hurt me, you, 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 may, you may make me angry, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to take a drastic way to get back at you. We should seek peace at all times. We should seek conflict resolution. We should be the custodians of conflict resolutions in whatever communities where we live before we can attract other international attention to resolve conflict on our behalf. We should try our best and we should keep preaching the gospel of peace for that is what Africa needs in this time for that is what will put an end to the wars on the African continent for that is what will make us look as a civilized people and nation thank you for tuning in to Tribe Roots we bring you the Education Monday every Monday from the Tribe Roots studio don't forget we have other programs each day of the week from all, all walks of life, tune in and remember to subscribe. Thank you so much.